Hello, and thank you again for joining me for another session of Move Your Body and Speak English. We continue with synonyms. However, today we're going to look at emotions. And so here we go. First synonym. Here we see a face. This face could be labeled as someone who is afraid. He looks afraid. His mouth is, is turned down. His eyes are looking sideways. Those are two indications that he's looking afraid. Another way of saying that is that he looks scared. He looks scared. And when we're afraid or scared, we want to run away. We want to run away from that. Or we want to freeze. It's not that we want to freeze, but we do freeze because we're, we're scared. So they're reactions that we have inside us, thoughts that we have. When we feel afraid or scared when we feel afraid or when we feel scared. Here's another emotion. Here's a, a face of someone who's gritting their teeth, their eyes, they look like they're popping out of their head and you can sort of see steam coming off their hair. And we can say this person, we could label this person as mad. Mad. We can also say that this person looks angry, angry. This word here is a bit tricky, mad, because although it means angry, it can also mean crazy. And our last emotion. We can see this person's mouth is also downward. The eyes are also looking heavy and to the side. We can label this person as looking unhappy, unhappy. We can also say this person is looking sad, sad. So these are all emotions, negative emotions, and they start with a feeling inside and then they it get expressed through the face. So now we're gonna move our body and what I'd like to do is I'll say some words that we've looked at and then we're gonna improvise movement. So whatever the feeling is, you can just let your body express itself, okay? Here we go. So we'll start with the breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And now we're gonna say the word afraid, afraid. We can also say scared. So let's just let your body feel that and start to move. So that's what happens to my body when I think of afraid. 
or scared. I'm going to do that again. And now I'm going to speed it up. And then I'm going to let that go. So I'm just going to let that go. So I'm no longer afraid. I'm no longer scared. Now I'm going to say the word angry, mad. And I'm going to let my body feel those words, angry, mad. And I'm just going to move. Angry. Mad. I'm going to repeat that movement. So I'm gritting my teeth. I'm making a fist. I'm going to do that a little faster now. And now I'm going to let that go. Now I'm no longer angry, I'm no longer sad, I'm no longer mad, and I'm no longer afraid. Now I'm going to say the word unhappy, unhappy. I made a mistake. <laughs> But that's okay. So now I'm going to say unhappy, sad. I'm going to let my body do that. Do that again. So I'm reaching up, but then I'm just dropping everything down to the ground. I'm reaching up and melting down. A little faster. I'm making a sound. I'm making a sound as I go down. So, I am no longer mad, I am no longer angry, 
I am no longer sad. I am no longer unhappy. I am no longer scared. And I am no longer afraid. Thanks again for joining me. Um, I hope you move the way you want to do the movement when you feel those uh, emotions. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.